Hello folks. So when I first made a video on printing Astro Picks to canvas, you guys left me some comments about, well, have you seen them on metal? And at the time I thought, well, no, I haven't. So when I made a video on printing to metal, you guys said, well, have you seen them on acrylic? And well, no, I hadn't, but now I have and holy moly. I sent my starless Cygnus wall to a to a, on Amazon at Picture Wall Art for an acrylic print and I nearly fell out of my seat when I took it out of the package. This is amazing looking. And what I've heard about acrylic is that they can actually print um, more dots per inch on acrylic than metal. I haven't done a lot of research but um, so maybe you guys would know better if that's true or not, but that's that's what I've read so far. And um, this is only twenty nine ninety nine, so I wasn't expecting you know you know very thick acrylic or some some kind of star quality background because you know for twenty nine ninety nine you sort of just whatever they give me I'll be happy with. And so um, the acrylic is actually only one eighth of an inch thick. And I, I thought I've seen uh, examples of acrylic where it's actually thicker than that, maybe a quarter inch thick. And the way this works is, uh, the way they explained it is, the ink is printed on the back of the ac acrylic with the glossy front put on. Now I'm not sure what that means, what kind of glossy front, a glossy acrylic front? I'm not sure what they meant by that, but the thing is, there were some smudges on on this side that I can't wipe off. It's like it's on the inside. So there is a little bit of depth to this picture, though, so that's kind of cool, but if there's flaws on the inside, well, you're kind of out of luck. But you know what? I have used picture wall art before, and I know if I told them about it, they'd say, no problem, Chuck. Uh, keep the one you have. We'll send you a new one. They've they've done that before, but you know I, I didn't want to bother them with this time. Uh, it, it's not that big of a deal, and I think where I hang it, if I can find a place to hang it, it it, it probably won't be visible. And so that's what that looks like. Uh, I mentioned it's one eighth thick, and it's got a board on the back. And this is the only thing that bothers me right here. It takes two nails. To hang it. I've told them about this before. It, it's for even their metal prints. This stuff is so light. Why do you want to inconvenience people by having them measure two nails on the wall, how far apart, you know, make sure they're the right height from the ceiling. It, I, I've given out some to, uh, you know, for example, my sister where I saw her try to line up more than one picture at a time and it, it's not an easy thing to do, man. You got to really make sure you measure stuff right, but it'd be a lot easier if they just put a little groove so you could just do it with one nail. So that, that's a little gripe I have about that. And I'm going to show you a comparison now because they also sell metal prints for $29.99, but the metal prints I bought from them before aren't glossy, and I'm a sucker for glossy, like this acrylic print here. The only thing is... uh. With the glossy front, you know, it's it's a bit of a challenge to hang because you want to find a spot on the wall where no matter what angle you view it from, you won't be hit with glare because once glare hits this, it's almost blinding. So it, it can be done. You can find that perfect spot, but it, it's just not as easy as hanging a non-glossy picture. Um, what else? Uh... And definitely, you don't want to put them in a dark room. I, you know, Astro Picks don't come out bright as it is, so you want to keep them in a, a, a well-lit room. Now, I'm actually out of space to hang this. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. Um, even my, my horse head nebula is, is hanging in a, a dimly lit stairwell. There's nowhere else to put this stuff. Uh, I could tear down that Camaro poster here, or... I could put Velcro on the back of here, so when I make videos, I can hang it right there behind me. Wouldn't that be cool? Uh, let me show you a comparison here.
Okay, I am actually sitting on the floor pointing at these pictures with my iPhone. Um, and I just wanted to show you these pictures side by side. Now, picture wall art, this is what their metal print looks like over here for $29.99. Um, it's non-glossy, but the quality is very good. Um, all the detail is there in the picture. And this is the picture I just showed you on the acrylic. Now acrylic, if you don't know, it kind of does feel like plastic. It's, it just doesn't feel like a heavy material at all. And the the metal definitely feels uh, like a, a more durable product where if, if, <laughs> if I accidentally sat on the metal, I think it'd survive. But I think if I sat on this acrylic, I think I want to put a permanent dent in it. Uh, and this is in Vivo. I've shown you this before. Um, uh, in another video, uh, these guys sell their metal prints for uh, seventy nine ninety nine, and but and, but they offer the glossy metal. And one thing about uh, and Vivo is they do the they do the back right. Uh, they they use metal blocks, um, and. It only takes one nail to hang it. I really like that. So <laughs> they thought about convenience there. So that's how these look back to back. Glossy metal. Glossy acrylic. And non-glossy metal. I know you're really not going to be able to see this but that well on my iPhone. Um, and that smudge on the one side of the acrylic that I was talking about is probably uh, not that viewable at this angle. You probably had a better shot of it when I was sitting on my stool. Like I said, you can't see it from certain angles and from here, I can't really see it. Maybe you can when, it's, when I rerun this iPhone video. So anyway, I, I don't know. I hope you found this video useful but in my opinion if i'm gonna buy a picture again from picture wall art i'm definitely gonna take the acrylic for 29.99 over their metal option for 29.99 um now maybe if their metal option were glossy well like i said before it just seems like this picture is so clear on acrylic and uh, maybe more dots per inch does make a difference and the thing with Anvivo, oh i, I know i'm starting to go talk too long but i think Envivo stopped offering the 16 by 20 inch option because it does matter how high of a resolution your picture is and one time joseph from that company he actually emailed me he says chuck you know your picture is not high enough resolution you might not look you might not like the way it comes out i'm like wow now how how now that is great customer service. How many companies would sacrifice a sale to tell you that? So that that's one reason why I, I want to keep going back to those guys. And I think, but I think they did stop the 16 by 20, at least temporarily, because too many people were uploading pictures that didn't have a high enough resolution. And what that high enough resolution is, um, I've looked it up and, you know, I get different answers from different websites, so I'm, I'm not going to post it in this video. You'll just have to do some research and, and, and take a, and, and find, you know, figure it out for yourself what's the best way to go, because um, I'm not sure I really found the right answer. Uh, that's all I've got, guys. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.